Alright, sorry about that guys, uh, I am back. <laughs> it's funny, it was running just fine until I hit broadcast and decided that's when it wanted to crash. Um, we're up and running for now, so let's make the best of it. Uh, yeah, so this is Santiago de Cuba, what we're going to be playing today. Um, so let's hop right into it. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Dave was going to be here uh, this week. He actually um, has a very valid excuse for not being here. <laughs> Um, so we, okay, it looks like it just crashed again, great, um, alright, I'm gonna see if I can get that back, um, hold on, I should probably make a title card that I can throw up in these situations about technical difficulties, um, one moment, please, I'm gonna throw up one of our Summoner Wars tournament title cards, which we, uh, uh, use quite often. Uh, so I'm going to throw that up while I try to figure out what's going on with the old uh, stream. So I will be right back. All right, well, it looks like we're back. Um, let's jump right into a game while we still can. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to play against the AI. Um, as some people have reported, uh, the AI is uh, not the best in the game. Uh, looks like we froze. It might be something to do with the cable. Uh, so, I'm sorry, guys. Um... Yeah, so the AI does leave some to be desired, uh, but I like winning, so it uh, definitely helps with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually new to Santiago de Cuba on the iPad, um, and I've actually been able to win every game so far, so definitely uh, does not provide a great challenge. Um, if we do get this thing up and running, uh, those that are watching, if you want to jump on, maybe we can start an online game. Uh, right now and just kind of play through that which might be enjoyable um, right now I'm gonna see again as to why the uh, video is stopped here uh, so I apologize again I'm gonna uh, try rebooting my machine and see if we can get a uh, better connection All right, so we're back again. Let's try not bumping anything and seeing if we can get things working here. Uh, hopefully you can hear the music tonight. It's a pretty uh, interesting soundtrack. Uh, definitely, I think, keeps the spirit of the game pretty well. Um, 
yeah, so you can add different players, you can change your player character. Um, I often like to be the uh, woman who's constantly holding her head. I guess she just has a constant headache or something. Uh, but yeah, there's <laughs> some, some interesting characters here. Um, yeah, there's, so there's AI. You can also play, uh, you know, pass and play as well. Um, and the AI does provide some challenge, though. Like many have said, it uh, does leave a little bit to be desired in, in that area. Um, so again, we I'm going to play a quick AI game just to show you how the game's played. If you are watching and want to join in, um, we can actually uh, hop onto an online game. I hear the online is pretty uh, empty at the moment, so that will give us a chance to actually, uh, I think, hop onto a game if we all try to join in at the same time. So uh, yeah, we'll head through this uh, quick AI game, and then we can we can look into that. Alright, so my name is your name, because I did not put in a name. Uh, so the way the game is played is you're trying to score victory points. Um, you, one of the main ways you score victory points is by selling goods, if you can see these colored dice here. Uh, these are the amount of goods of certain types that will be able to be sold once a shipping round starts, which is where the car ends up here by the, the shipping docks. Uh, so generally the car will move one space, and you'll get whatever action the... Uh, character here gives you along with being able to use one of the buildings of the color of the character that you're on so uh, Pablo here gives us one I believe of any uh, type of resource or type of product uh, and then the uh, blue buildings have different abilities like we can change one of the deliver uh, one of the shipping demands to zero we can trade wood for uh, a victory point and some gold and we can just get two gold um, as you can see, we each start out with some resources, and there are eight of each resource, so you can kind of see what's in people's hands. You can't s see exactly what people are holding, but you are trying to figure out uh, kind of what they're what they're doing and uh, trying to make sure you stop people before they have a chance to score big in the victory point areas. So I'm just going to, uh, and you, sorry, the car usually moves one space. You can actually pay one coin per space to skip forward. Um, so the two wood is actually pretty strong, though we are in some pretty low demand. So I'm actually going to just go one forward here uh, and choose one of these more luxury resources that everyone else doesn't have, because I feel like those are going to be uh, more useful in the in the long run. Um, and then I'm just going to take uh, two money, because why not? Money's good. So the next player goes, takes two wood, which can be traded uh, as any resource, and then changed the f uh, tobacco resource to zero. Or, I'm sorry, the product to zero. So no users are able to trade in tobacco in this shipping round. Um, and the game is played till seven shipping rounds have taken place. You can actually skip the shipping round by moving past it if you so choose. Uh, so here we have the ability to take three gold, which I've got quite a bit of gold right now. So I'm actually going to... Uh, but fruit's not really useful to me either. Uh, hmm. Let's so just trade one thing for... Uh, and also you can see a player here actually bought a building. So you can actually buy buildings and you get, I believe, a victory point each time a person uses that building. Uh, and I don't know why they chose that building, but I'm going to go ahead and take... Mm, well, that does set someone else up to take the sugar. Maybe I should take the sugar. You know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the two sugar. That's probably a dumb idea. But the AI is really easy, so don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> so the newspaper office is a very commonly used building. You can use it to actually flip over one of the players, which allows you them not one of the uh, uh, the spots on the track, making that kind of a dead spot that players need to skip over. Um, I will probably go here with the black market and trade an orange for a red. So the uh, shipping round was actually skipped, and because we have gone once around, the price per good sh shipped has gone up to three victory points rather than two. Uh, so this is going to be kind of a big round, as you can see, and a lot of the goods are out. 
And so there's going to be a lot going on. So I'm just going to take the two victory points there. And I will... Hmm. So I could trade my gold for a victory point, or I can trade my victory points for gold. Uh, or I can uh, move the cost per good up, which I think I'm going to push that and try to force a shipping round and try to make it in my benefit, hopefully. <laughs> can grab that uh, second cigars and maybe make it good. So the there are five types of goods. Uh, white is sugar. Uh, orange is fruit, green is tobacco. Uh, those are kind of the basic ones, and then the other two you actually have to make from the other ones, right? So you've got uh, rum, which is red, and um, cigars, which are black. And so those kind of uh, are a little more difficult to obtain because, of course, you uh, have to actually have one of the other resources and then convert them into something. Uh, so I'm actually going to do that. Uh, and convert uh, over here into some tobacco. I'm going to hang on to just one green. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't want to be holding on to too much of that. All right, so then I can use that to... Potentially, I have kind of a corner on the cigars now that we're going into the trading round, and I can get my victory points for that. So my sugar was kind of useless. But I am going to be able to get eight victory points uh, by trading in my uh, two cigar goods that I had. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty interesting game. Um, one I'd love to try on the tabletop for sure. I think they've represented it really in a really fun way here. Um, there's definitely some flaws with the app in terms of the AI. It definitely has some weaknesses um, and makes either weird plays or obvious plays somewhere or somewhere in between those two um yeah so it definitely is uh an interesting game <laughs> uh there's also problems with uh the way uh the game saves it doesn't always save your state when you're playing which can be a little frustrating um but yeah if you want to hop in the chat and want to comment anything um we are definitely up and running, I believe. If I just don't bump the cable, we should be good. Uh, it might be that my uh, HDMI cable is a little finicky as of late. Um, but who knows what it could have been. could have been anything, I guess. Uh, but thank you guys for watching today. Um, it's a little solo uh, stream tonight. Uh, Dave has a very valid excuse and should be back soon. Um, yeah, so the dice on the ship represent the demand for certain goods. Uh, so they correspond to the colors of the different goods, and the uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the way they are laid out is um, decided by the first player in terms of rotation after all the tradings happened. Um, so the, the last player that didn't get an opportunity to trade a good has the opportunity to decide which goods are available next, which should hopefully be some sort of catch-up mechanic for that player, though it's, uh, it doesn't always necessarily pan out that way. Um, so I went to Martinez, I get three gold, or three currency, uh, and I can use any of these uh, different options and you can actually look at the board to get a better idea in case you're uh, you know, deliberating over certain decisions uh, probably this one and go ahead and flip over Whew. trying to decide what I well I can hang on to the sugar if I flip over Jose so uh, I know that I have all three of that eight of the missing sugar since there are only eight of each good uh, so I made the choice to close the sugar uh, providing a gentleman named Jose so that I hopefully have a corner on that resource um, so because I have all the sugar I can trade my uh, tobacco first because I'm not afraid about the sugar being taken uh, except by wood potentially but I I think I might still be safe. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I wasn't as safe as I thought I was. Uh, Alright, so maybe I wasn't thinking quite ahead as I should have been, because uh, there is quite a bit of uh, the wood resource, which the wood resource can be used to, 
to replace any other good. Uh, however, you only get one victory point, but it's a great way to block other people or just get some points when you just don't have anything. Uh, so, uh, asking if it's worth buying, um, I really enjoy the game. I've really enjoyed playing it. Uh, the AI is, uh, again, pretty pretty easy to play against, so if you're playing it for solo play, I definitely wouldn't uh, recommend this game. Uh, <clears throat> However, I think uh, f from a, an online perspective, it's been pretty fun, while the, it has been a little challenging to find uh, opponents. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll get a take chance to look at that later. So if you're interested and you own the game, um, I'd like to play an online game as soon as this game's done. So I probably should get it moving, right? Uh, Alright, so I'm just going to go to Maria. I don't know why. It probably wasn't a right, wise choice, but... Uh, Let's see. So the green player has actually purchased two buildings, which is pretty uh, great for him. Definitely scoring some victory points from those. Okay, let's see. So El Zorro, I have to give something to this player. So I could give them a sugar, I could give them uh, a good, I could give them a victory point. Um, I'm gonna give them a victory point. I'm, uh, I'm gonna give them a coin. Yeah, so I'm gonna be embarrassed if I get by, beat by the AI here, but uh, uh, but yeah, I mean it's it's pretty fun to play. I, it's only you know I'm a, I'm a fairly new player, so it's been uh, interesting to learn this game on iPad. And the tutorial does work really well. There's some things they don't exactly teach you. Uh, however, um, you pick them up pretty quickly. And yeah, this uh, I have not tried Grog Island, but it, it I could imagine it being similar coming yeah, it was like you said, coming from the same designer. Alright. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh man. <laughs> A lot of conversion to the old rum here. Uh yeah, so we can see that not very many players have rum, but it's definitely in demand. Oh, I'm the only one that controls rum right now, uh, so I'm considering how I can potentially get some more rum, but I, I don't know how that may be possible. Um, but if I head here, I can take the sugar, and then I can convert one of those sugars into rum, which is good for me, hopefully. Uh, so then we're going here to a shipping round. Uh, again, I control all the sugar and all the rum that is currently available. Um, so I definitely will take advantage of that and sell my rum first, I believe. Uh, and I do, there is two wood out there though, so I do need to be careful about that. Um, so I will go ahead and and so my sugar as well. And so there's no, as far as I can tell, any penalty for hanging on to different goods. Um, so you definitely, you know, don't lose any benefits from from hoarding things. But again, you're not making any victory points, and uh, in the end, they're just necessarily used for tiebreakers. Otherwise, you uh, kind of, uh, you know, just want to sell what you can. Uh, coins actually do contribute to your victory point pool at the end, so you can hang on to those. In a, in a way. Uh, let's see here. So we are about halfway through, so buying is not necessarily as valuable as it uh, could be, but things are also pretty in low demand. Um, but I'll just take two victory points. I think that's pretty, pretty nice. Now I could. <laughs> looks pretty much like I need to give the green player a victory point. Um, but I'll just have it be a wash. We'll each take a point. Uh, as we're, you know, moving in, I you don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of goods. So I'm really hoping this is kind of an interesting board setup where a lot of the uh, kind of goods providing individuals are towards the back of, of the circle. So um, it's hard for me to guarantee that I <laughs> am going to get anything this round, uh, so I don't want to invest too heavily in the trading aspect by like moving the flag up and that and that sort of thing. Uh, 
because I don't even know if that's gonna happen. As far as I can tell right now, I don't know. Uh, so fruit is at zero. Sugar's at one. I do have the only sugar right now. Uh, I'm just gonna take, whoops. Uh, so you can pick up the pieces. Uh, not entirely sure why. Um, you may be able to, I guess, adjust them at the start of the game if you feel so inclined. Uh, Alright, so I guess I'll just maintain my hold on sugar for what it's worth and by association rum. Uh, of course, green will take the tobacco, which will be useful in this upcoming trading round. Um, now, I have the ability to skip the round, so I know that uh, the green player is definitely going for, you know, is going to expect to get, uh, what is it, six points, um, whereas I will be receiving no points currently, um, so I can actually skip it, which I think I will do. I guess I'll be receiving three, but uh, which does up the overall... Uh, Uh, cost of goods or price of goods, but I think in the end it's going to be okay. And actually, if I do that, then currently I'm the only one that has anything that can be traded uh, besides wood. People have lots and lots of wood, almost all the wood is out. Uh, so I, it's important to me to initiate this trading round so I can actually make the trades, hopefully, that I need. Uh, uh, do I want to buy a house? I'll just make people give me stuff. Do it. Give me the things. Some fruit. That's useless. It's also useless. Alright, so I'm going to just skip that because I like both of those things. He jumps straight to the sugar. So you can actually compete there. Uh, and green should probably try to not drive the round. Uh... Okay, so it's definitely in my advantage to do this, though. I'm going to give yellow... Oh, I guess it's not in my advantage. Well, actually it is. It's only in my advantage. I am the only one that got points that round. So now, because I did finish it, I do get the chance to roll the dice and decide what, how they get allocated here. So, I'm going to do this just to be annoying. It's going to be about uh, converting these things, I think, uh, this round. <laughs> and I guess I should put stuff I actually have. Yeah, so there's two more rounds left. Uh, and then the player with the most victory points wins. It's usually, in a three-player game, 40 to 50 points is a winning score. Uh, the players also have not scored in the past couple of scoring rounds, which is not great for them. All right, so... Uh, the real crux here is going to be able to lock in these uh, kind of trade goods. Mm, yeah, so I do want to skip forward, take Alonso, which isn't terribly beneficial to me at this time. Uh, let's see. What do we got coming up still this round? <laughs> Yellow? Alright, I'll do that. Um, but we definitely do want to convert. Hmm. Well, that doesn't give anyone else victory points. Let's see, I can't do both. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I now have one cigar, the only cigar on the market right now. Uh, so hopefully I can trade that in when we get to the uh, shipping phase. I, I'm guessing uh, that players are going to try to drive it forward. I do think I have a lead, so it's probably in my advantage to try to push uh, the end rather than hang on. Uh, but do I want to burn two coins to do it is the question. Um, yeah, I do. I want to push the end of the game. I think, I think that's what I want to do. Is still out there though. 
Alright, so I did not fulfill that demand at all, but I definitely, you know, uh, only two of us are actually going to score victory points. So, uh, so now this wood that we've all been hoarding is going to come out <laughs> to kind of push down these demands. And it gives you a small number of points, but it's better than someone else getting the points. Um, and in this case, it's really the only points people are earning. Uh, so I do have pretty strong determining the demand this final round. Uh, again, I'm going to put the uh, complex goods up there just for the sole purpose of, uh, of being annoying, basically. Um, I really feel like my best bet is to try to slow people down, basically, um, because you do already basically need to have the goods so that you can convert it into the more complex trade good. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in playing online, uh, if you wanted to ping in the chat, that would let us let me know, and we can jump on to an online game uh, before I wrap this up, because I think it would be fun to try it with real life people. All right, so I'm just gonna demand stuff. Yeah, I'll take some fruit. Yeah, okay, I'll take some fruit. I'll take all the fruit. I don't. I have almost all of it. I cannot use the cigar factory, sadly, so I will skip that. Which is where my car was parked before. Um, so, sadly, I lost out on an opportunity there. So, definitely pulling the sugar. Uh, Alright, so... Someone may skip that round, which would not be great for me. Oh, because my car is already there. <laughs> Alright. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, nope. Did not skip the round. So this will be the... Uh, we'll be entering the final round of the game. Uh, so I'm not in a great position here. Uh, though I do think I have a lead that should carry me through. Um, but we'll see. I could be wrong. I could lose to the AI. That would be really embarrassing since everyone's been complaining about the AI so much and I have yet to lose from them to them myself. So, uh, yeah. Wow, that wood really came in handy there. All right. Oof. So, I also don't get to choose what's actually featured this time around. Uh, cigars would have been great for me. But, sadly, alas, that is not to be not, not to be. Alright, I think two victory points is pretty strong. And I'll trade, I'll trade one for one there. Alright, jump straight to the fruit. I actually have no coins left, so I have no power to skip or change the order of things. I just have to uh, rely on things as they stand, which is a bummer. Uh, <laughs> oh, great. Oh, awesome. Alright, so... I mean, I have no choices, really, here. Uh, I may lose the AI. I may have made some bad decisions that will cause me to lose. I'm just gonna have a bunch of cigars at the end, because that's just how I roll, and it doesn't matter that I don't have any tobacco. I'm just a boss like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so currently there's not a ton of people online. Uh, the game kind of came out uh, on, I don't know, the middle of <laughs> the holidays. Uh, so didn't get a ton of exposure in that way. So uh, yeah, sadly, uh, there's I think there's not a huge number of people online right now. So if we all hop on. I'm going to create a game right after this game. And if you hop on at that time, you very likely will be in the game. <laughs> Okay, look at that. I just lost the AI. So, uh, the AI is not unable to win. Uh, I think I made some poor decisions in a couple spots. And definitely ended up with a ton of inventory, which I think you can see that the AI had nothing left. Really, really knocked it out the park. I'm actually really embarrassed. I should probably, I think I should quit. I don't think I can uh, go on with this. Having lost to the Santiago de Cuba AI, I've not lost yet. Um, all right, so uh, if, if 
those of you that are watching want to jump on, please come on. We will. I'm gonna log on with with Game Center. It is talking across the pond. I'm gonna create a game. Again, the lady that is con constantly sighing. And I have four open spots. Anyone watching want to join in? I will give it uh, three to five minutes. Uh, otherwise, we will just um, call it a night. I think, uh, yeah, this is, I mean, it's a really fun app. It definitely has some flaws uh, in terms of, you know, just basic things like uh, saving and the AI, though I did lose, is generally uh, pretty beatable. Um, I'm trying to do two things at once here, which may be why I lost. I don't know. I'm just going to make a bunch of excuses. But uh, yeah, so I really enjoy the game. Uh, it's fun to finally uh, choose this one. So on my final word, I mean, I still need to do a review. I feel like there's a lot going for it. I, I haven't had a problem with the safe state issues necessarily because I've been able to generally finish the games and... Uh, 15 to 30 minutes on a train ride and so I, I don't usually save them between sessions uh, but that being said it's kind of inexcusable to not have a game save your game uh, <laughs> yes always use the distraction excuse it is my bread and butter so yeah if anyone wants to hop on uh, we can play an online game again I'll create it here uh, I think you just hop on into the lobby and you should be able to see the game open there uh, so yeah, anyone that wants to join in, otherwise I'll just talk about what I've been playing, uh, had a break, but not a lot of video game playing going on, uh, played a little Dragon Age before the break, uh, yeah, sure, I could show off 80 days, yeah, um, yeah, we, I'll, I'll do that, if, so if no one joins, we'll take a look at 80 days, which is a really excellent game, um, if you haven't tried this one, uh, it's, really one of the best interactive story games that's ever been made. It's by Inkle, the guys that made Sorcery, uh, so it shares a lot of that polish, but it's very different in terms of the way things are presented. Uh, much less, less of an RPG, but uh, also still very cool. Um, so yeah, we'll give it another two minutes. Um, I got addicted to desert golfing today. Uh, that one's been out for quite a while, but it's this little simple mobile golfing game where you uh, kind of play this simple golfing game and try to get into a, a hole, and it's, when you finish that hole, it raises up and becomes the tee for the next hole, and you just keep going uh, and going and going. I've, I think I'm on like 200 holes right now, and I've heard you can get to like 3,000 or something, and then it just becomes flat. I doubt I will ever get there, but it's it's surprisingly addictive um, and was even talked about I mean the reason I started playing it I was listening to the Giant Bomb podcast and they were talking about it and it was a I mean they were talking about it as one of a game of the year mentioned which I just thought was crazy uh, I have not tried Crossy Roads um, I, I need to try that one I've not tried it yet so it looks like no takers online alright well we'll have to play another time uh, all right, so let's check out 80 Days. I should have it on here somewhere. Yeah, there it was, and then it left. All right, 80 Days. Cool. Oh, interesting. I'm almost home in this game, so maybe I should uh, start over. It's a little sad to... Uh, Uh, I have not played Nightfall lately. Um, I I think it's an interesting deck builder. The the topic to me uh, seems a little. I don't, it's just not my favorite topic. It's my favorite theme, I guess. Um, but yeah, so this is 80 Days. It is an interactive story about trying to travel around the world in 80 days, which supposedly is possible. Um, <laughs> there's actually some ways to do it in like 12 days, which I've done before. Um, but in terms of atmosphere and presentation, it's just it's just fascinating. I mean, it it does one of those things that P1 
people I think last year discovered that iOS does really greatly which is present a globe that you can pull around like the, the touch interface I mean not just iOS uh, Android as well but just the ability to touch and move around uh, a globe is something that I think <laughs> didn't appear this year I guess but uh, really came into its own there were several strategy games that actually spinning a globe to try and uh, kind of play an RTS which I, I thought was really cool so you um, start in a city uh, there's some exposition about uh, kind of what you want to bring with you um, so now I have money I have four thousand pounds so we can pack can decide what to bring so we're definitely bringing a shirt and trousers uh, what's cool about these things is things are a certain shape and they do not uh, change they don't, they don't shift at all hmm so I have to decide between the wax cylinders and the sailor's cap uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, let's see I know Let's go with the sailor's cap, and then we have a little bit of space if we ever want anything else. All right, so you can head now because we have the timetable, the European train timetable. We've actually discovered certain routes, um, so you can actually go. You can see these little nodes on the map, but you can't actually go there unless you uh, know the route to get there. Um, so let's go crazy. Should we go to Cambridge? I don't know. Let's do it. Let's go away. We've never been. Usually, you you'll go down to Paris. Um, so there's certain effects, certain amount of time it takes to get certain places. Um, it uh, causes wear on uh, Mr. Fogg, who your gentleman that you're caring for, uh, and so you want to keep him alive and yourself alive. Uh, so when you're going down the carriage, um, I'm gonna ask you, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna take care of Miss? Monsieur Fogg, or are you going to uh, did nothing but just got in the care? So if you take care of him, then he feels better and all that sort of stuff. Let's see. So he's asking why? Why are you going to Cambridge? And I don't know why. Uh, so it's kind of a steampunk world as well, which uh, kind of Jules Verne sort of imagined, but this is definitely takes it to quite the extreme. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, that's funny. So they're not sure why they're going to Cambridge, but it's because I chose to do it. Uh, <laughs> wow, this is really funny. So you can zoom in. You can also see uh, other players. Eleven players currently are taking the train, which they should have done. Uh, so we can sleep now. Now on day two, we can wake up. Uh, and I go straight into the college. And I waited for an introduction. I'm going to be polite. I'm going to say... Ooh, Cognac. There we go. I'm going to make uh, Mr. Fog, Monster Fog hate me by just being a drunkard, maybe. Uh, so you get all these choices, and it definitely affects choices you have down the line. Uh, it's really interesting how it all flows together. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm not actually thoroughly reading these, uh, but there's a lot of, I mean, there's just paragraphs and paragraphs of text, a great, really well-written story uh, that you really should dive into. I'm just trying to get us moving to kind of show you more of the game. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see... <laughs> All right. 
So the first night of a great journey, we stayed in England and hung out. Uh, so we can explore. And so I was hoping there was some like route to go through. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Aha, we may have found a route. So we can fly this flying bird. Alright, that's what I thought. That is what I thought. So, in each town there's a market. You can sell certain items. Uh, so you can actually see uh, 31, 62. You can buy these things. Uh, you can actually sometimes buy additional baggage. Not always. Um... But sure, I'll take the cold compress for three, three pounds, and we're gonna head out for the gyrocopter. So they can take up to three bags, and it's gonna be minus fourteen health. Uh, but because we have certain items, it actually uh, reduces some of the uh, negative side effects of certain travel, which is really interesting. Um, some of them make sense. Some of them are secrets. It's all quite interesting. Uh, yeah, let's see. I asked it to say if I'm going to be timid. <laughs> so now we are flying. So we can converse with people. Uh, this gives me an opportunity to find out about new routes. Uh, specifically, that's the main, one of the main things. Uh, let's talk about Stockholm. And from Stockholm to uh, Berlin, sure. Uh, yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, I feel like you really... Uh, um, <laughs> they get bored talking to you as well. Uh, but I think you really learn... Uh, you, have to, you have to know... Uh, I think to really succeed in the game, you're going to need to know some geography. Uh, but that's, uh, that's maybe more of a learning type thing. Uh, let's see. So we made it for free. That was a free ride. Bummed off Cambridge. Nice. So it's 7 p.m. Uh, so we can plan different things to do. Uh, so if we want to plan to go to Stockholm, we'll start tomorrow at 11 a.m. Uh, we actually don't know. We can't get directly to there, so we need, do need to go to Stockholm. Um, and it departs tomorrow for 68 pounds, which is actually rather cheap. Things get a little crazier than that. So we actually have to stay at the hotel, pay a little money. Uh, eventually you'll run to like banks where you can get more money, uh, and you'll want to plan on doing that so you can continue to move forward on your journey. Uh, I'm going to go wax poetic. Let's see, what time is it? So we do barely have time to explore, potentially. Uh, so we did discover a couple new routes. Uh, you know what? I just want to like go the craziest route possible. Um, Let's do that. I'm gonna go to the government. I don't even. I didn't even read what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm. Oh, it looks like I'm joining some sort of. Uh, I demanded to know. I love how it's like I didn't care. <laughs> so it's funny, you know. There's very much like World War One coming, but. Uh, kind of in a different way and, and for diff interesting reasons uh, and different reasons they've kind of put together. Uh, it's very interesting. How will you farm? Come on, we're an agrarian society. Uh, 
let's eat. Oh wow, Mr. Fog is is Monster Fog is looks like he's fairly Wow, six ninety. Let's see, I wanna I wanna go that way. I want to go to there. I'm doing it. <laughs> see, is that does that count as around the world to go just over to Alaska? I'm gonna say maybe. <laughs> So we can actually uh, stay one more day, <laughs> and yeah, the writing is is very beautiful, and I don't mean to discount it by skipping over it so blatantly. Uh, but uh, it's it doesn't make great television to read it. Um, wow, so it's very expensive. Uh, and kind of crazy route heading north where the trolls are according to some films uh, I just punched a girl it looks like uh, which is pretty great so again we can converse Okay. Wool trousers. Health. So he did learn that there was a train route. But I'm not going there. I'm going north. Or north, northeast. That's where I'm headed. <laughs> alright me questioning his motives improved our relationship don't know if I quite understand that <laughs> free train wow well let's see if we can't find route to keep going north uh, stumbled upon a bar sure let's learn some stuff I'm now steadfast so if we explore we did find the route to continue north I'm going to say as a Frenchman, wow. <laughs> wow, I only had choices to be rude, it looks like there. Uh, <laughs> so, how do we get to Smearnberg tomorrow at 8 a.m.? We're getting poor. So we definitely want to buy that extra suitcase and a windscarf for sure. And a magnetic compass. Why not take it all? We're going crazy. Another night in Trumps. Trumps of? I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to keep him alive since we are going on the craziest journey. See, that's cheap. 86 pounds. I can do that. <laughs> it's a hunting blue. <laughs> wow. We are at the edge of humanity now. Uh...
I don't know if it counts as going around the world if I just cut down through Australia. I do not know. <laughs> Who's there to talk to? Only Mr. <laughs> Nothing learned. Oh, did I just lose? No, but still video. Good. Okay. Uh... Right, so this is a path I have never taken in this game. What's cool is, one, there's multiple stories in each city that you can stumble upon, plus you can always try new paths like this that reveal new stories and new things going on. There's one where I was in a ship that sunk to the bottom of the ocean and we barely survived. It was, I don't know, or maybe we did perish, I forget. But yeah, there's all these different things that can happen. Uh, so what are these guys hunting? Interesting, interesting. So Monster Fog is doing pretty well for considering we are at the top of the world. Whew. This was the top of the world. <laughs> okay. So we have landed. Smearenberg. Ooh, so there is a bank here. Well, let's explore first. of Wales. So there's definitely this class of artificers that have some sort of pool around the world. Let's see. Let's see. Alrighty. Get amethyst, huh? Hmm. I want the amethyst. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, don't need that anymore, anyway. Uh. Oh no, I miss I should have gone to the bank. <laughs> and I still do not have a route from here. Uh so obviously I'm kind of thinking of heading up and around. As you can see, most players are not doing that. Uh so you can actually see where other players are right now. Uh or I guess recently kind of what they've been doing. Uh, it's a very, very interesting choice here. Uh, so let us go back course and spend the night maybe get some more money while we're here um, 
so right now we're playing 80 Days, which is a interactive story type game. Uh, probably will be ending soon. We've been playing for a few minutes. Um, but yeah, I really don't want to spoil too much of it for you. Uh, come on, learn learn a way out of here. Uh, We are. We made it. We're going to the North Pole. Now, how we get from the North Pole to anywhere else is a good question. Uh, when can we depart? We can depart at any time. Alright, let's do it. We don't need money. Let's do it. <laughs> so we are now in a machine that is walking across the ice. Uh... <sighs> yes, we are going forward. Heading for the North Pole. Why did you keep it secret? Try not to call people out. It's kind of jerkish. Um, anyway, yeah, I think uh, we may call it there. Uh, I just spoiled how to get to the North Pole, if you were ever wondering how to do that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know it was a possibility. Actually, this might actually be the new con I'm doing right now, which I f apologize if that is the case. But there is actually... Uh, New content was just added to the game, and I believe it might actually be this polar expedition that I happen to just have stumbled upon. Uh, so definitely go check it out. I believe it's available on the App Store right now. Uh, I do not know the price. I'm going to guess $4. I'm Googling it right now. $5. Uh, definitely worth every penny. You'll get a lot of enjoyment. I've done very different trips. Uh, if you have a, you know, a favorite country countries it's fun to try to see if you can get to all of them or get to them on different trips it's very interesting uh so uh thanks again for tuning in tonight we'll back be back next week with another game um probably uh next week we are revealing our re awards for 2014 uh, um so we will probably play our game of the year since we'll be announcing it next thursday I believe. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that, and we will uh, see you then. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in, and I uh, hope you'll check out both Santiago de Cuba, which we played earlier, and 80 Days. Thanks, guys, and have a good night. Sorry for the technical difficulty. We'll try to get things running more smoothly next week. Excuse me, next week. Thank you.